And welcome back to the What If Land and Ocean Swap Places. So now, as I already mentioned on my recent post, this is going to become a series. And due to the fact that obviously I took down the um, one civilization started over, we are just going to do this instead. And also, one more disclaimer before we get started, this is going to be a mix of different ideas. So it will have some elements of what a civilization started over due to the fact that what I'm going to talk about now, and also it is very different. No one did this before. They haven't done this as well as that. So yeah, if you enjoy this video and this series, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye. Let's start. All right. So we've got the world here. Might look a bit confusing, but now all of the blue, so all of the world that we live on today is now ocean. So there's one giant ocean that's over here with small lakes and everything. It's really weird to get over as well. I am um like that. So like all these little islands, all the Caribbean islands, the Pacific islands, Aegean, Greek islands and everything, all of these now become lakes, which is really interesting. Antarctica is a huge lake. So yeah, let's get started. All right. So and also, like Lake Baikal and all these Central Asian ones are now islands in the middle of the ocean. So if you were to just zoom in really close, you would see now that it's an island. Yeah. Alright, let's begin. So, this is... the For this series, I'm going to continue on the idea that it's... um uh, No modern civilization will exist when this happens. But this is just before when humans are starting to evolve. Just before we start to be able to speak and everything, so maybe 4000, 5000 BC, before any of the ancient civilizations, so even before Sumeria and Babylon, the ocean drains into the land and the land, yeah, and the ocean, yeah, becomes land and, yeah, if you get what I mean. Kind of unrealistic, but basically just imagine that if there was any mountains and the ocean was flatter, they would just switch places. So, yeah, now we have a new ocean. There's going to be a lot of volcanoes in certain places that weren't there before, such as, especially in this region, this region, um, this region will have, I don't know, actually, but yeah, it's cool. So yeah, let's actually start. All right, so humans are like, what just happened? So yeah, now we will have our first civilization to form. Around the Cape, the Lake of the Lake Verde, if that if you get what that means, Lake Verde. A kind of group of people will form over here. On this huge expanse of ocean, they go exploring. And they reach the actual ocean. So now, yeah, they're getting bigger and bigger. And we have a huge, nice little country over here. Our first country in the world is going to form. And now I'm thinking about it. Maybe it would be cool if we did that. Yes. Okay, there we go. Now it's going to be more like water civilization started over with other elements. So here we go. They've explored. And now they're going to start to send loads of explorers around into this brand new land that's over near them. Tons of it. Keep exploring down the coast, up the, up the, and up the coast. And yep, they send a few voyages everywhere. Start to expand their colony. And it's looking positive uh, until one day. A group of explorers on a raft were at that kind of time are gonna leave the from over here they're gonna go across the african ocean until they reach over here one group goes there and then another one decides to split off from here and reach the top they both reach more land that they didn't know existed before but it is still connected but they think this is in two different places so then these two groups right they're gonna split off and no surprise, they're going to form their own country. Yes, new countries, guys. All right. Our, new, our second country, the blue team, is going to form over here. I am kind of worried that it's going to 
Oh, it doesn't? Okay, that's good. It's going to form over here in, in the Western Mediterranean, where we are now. They're going to go along the coast. We've got lots of nice lakes and everything. And we keep expanding. Wait. Actually. Not that much. Not going to expand that much. Like that. Yeah. Perfect. We've got a nice expansion from the new blue team. And they've reached a lot of new land that wasn't explored before. So now in continents like Europe, we're gonna we are gonna lose a lot of land because the Mediterranean is not as big as regular Europe. So yeah, we've got blue team over here, and over in the eastern side, we've got a green team forming over here. A lot of ocean in the Red Sea, and a little bit up north where they came from as well. Keep exploring down the Red Sea because that's basically where they can all they can explore. Just gonna keep colonizing and then eventually they just become the Red Sea. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Lovely, nice. And now we have officially reached three countries. Yay! Exploration continues. Many groups from these countries start to create rafts and as we've seen previously that creates more countries so yes we are going to have more countries right if i do that and then oh okay i can't do that then two new countries are going to form another one from this red team actually it's going to go a long voyage all the way and then they're going to land over here I'm going to colonize this island, as well as some parts of this northern one. And then another group is going to voyage over here. Oh no, that's not really a voyage, is it? And they're going to settle up here in the Arabian Gulf. Oh, that's not the Arabian Gulf. Here. Persian Gulf, Arabian Gulf, same thing. Somewhere. And here we go. We have got lots of countries now. But because everyone's like, whoa, what happened to them? They just keep sending more and more people out to try and find them. But that's just basically like making more people go away. Not really that smart if you think about it. So yeah, we have another group going ahead and forming. Pretty close to the red team, actually, over here along the African coast with their, the Canary Lake, the Grand Canarias Lakes. Nice little country, they're probably going to be desert and slightly tropical as well, so nice over here. And then we have the final country forming in this today's episode over here in the what is that bay called? Let me get that. I've realized I've got a globe somewhere that's fine. What's it called? Gold for Guinea. Oh yeah, that's what it's called. So over here, they're going to go ahead and form our final country of the episode. In the around the Gulf of Guinea. Slightly coastal country. Not many people, kind of sparsely populated. But that also leaves space for more. To come. So here we go. They're going to start a huge exploration over here, especially along the coast, the African coast. They're going to meet up with Red Team, actually, and the Red Team's like, where did you go? We're like, we want own country now. And they're like, how dare you? And there, they send some people down there to say, hey, come back here right now. We want this. Rejoin us or else. They're like, nah. So, yeah, that's going to be our first war of this series, which we will get onto in the next episode. And now we're going to add some capitals. So our first capital is on the 
Cape Verde Lakes. Wait, that's way too small. 15, maybe? The Cape Verde Lakes. And then we've got another capital in the middle over here. Our blue team is going to set its capital over here. Green team is going to put its capital in the middle of the Red Sea. And here we go. And the final capitals are going to, one's going to go here. Oh wait, not there. That's not on the coast. One's going to go there. And the other one's going to go probably over there. Yeah. More exploration is going to continue, and yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for part two. Episode two, whatever. Anyway, goodbye.